This is the first video ever edited by a human mind. Meet Bradford Smith, the third Neuralink patient who lost his voice to ALS. But now, he's typing with his brain, speaking through AI, and just dropped a video controlled entirely by his thoughts. And that's just the start. We've got Tesla's surprise Model Y price cuts, a motorcycle riding robot doing BMX stunts, Amazon's creepy new touch-sensitive warehouse bot, and, oh yeah, CERN scientists literally turning lead into gold. Buckle up, this is your tech news rush. Let me tell you about Bradford Smith, a man who's just become living proof of how brain-computer interfaces are changing lives. As Neuralink's third human implant trial participant and their first with ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, the progressive neurodegenerative disease that affects nerve cells controlling voluntary muscles, Brad's story hits differently. This week, he dropped what might be the most significant home video ever made, the first ever video edited using direct brain signals. Here's why this matters. Brad lost his natural speech to ALS progression. But now, through Neuralink's implant, he's regained communication in the most extraordinary way. The system translates his neural activity into computer commands, allowing him to type with his mind while an AI reconstructs his original voice. That's right. The voice you hear in his video isn't some generic text-to-speech. It's an AI recreation of how Brad sounded before ALS took his voice. The practical improvements are staggering. His old eye-tracking system confined him to dark rooms. Sunlight would render it useless. Now, he's posting videos about sitting on his porch, watching his son win robotics competitions, even contemplating his first trip out of the city in five years. Neuralink's prime study is accelerating too. They're now recruiting globally with plans for over 1,000 implants by 2026. We're witnessing the birth of a new era in neurotechnology where conditions like paralysis and speech loss may become treatable. Let's switch to the another updates. Tesla's refreshed Model Y is already facing unexpected headwinds just months after its launch. The automaker has taken the unusual step of offering aggressive incentives, including 0% financing deals and $2,000 discounts, a rare move for a newly refreshed model that typically sees strong initial demand. Industry analysts point to multiple concerning indicators. European sales dropped 35% in April compared to last year, while Chinese deliveries fell 8% year over year. Several factors appear to be at play. The EV market has become increasingly crowded, with nearly 30 direct competitors now available in the US alone. Some analysts suggest Elon Musk's controversial political statements may be alienating Tesla's traditionally progressive customer base. The refresh itself, while featuring improvements like ambient lighting and a rear touchscreen, lacks groundbreaking innovations to differentiate it from previous models. This softening demand comes at a challenging time for Tesla, with first quarter deliveries down 13% year over year. The company has walked back its ambitious growth targets, and many observers believe the accelerated timeline for a $25,000 mass market vehicle may be Tesla's best hope to regain momentum in an increasingly competitive EV landscape. Next, Tesla recently dropped a major progress update on its dedicated semi-factory near Giga, Nevada, and the electric truck revolution is charging full speed ahead. The company released a construction update video showing the completed factory shell, walls, columns, and concrete floors now ready for equipment installation. According to Tesla semi-program lead Dan Priestley, this facility is being built for mass scale production, targeting 50,000 electric semis per year once fully ramped up. The first production units are expected to roll off the line by the end of 2025, with volume scaling through 2026. The Semi may be Tesla's most underrated product, quietly proving itself in real-world fleet operations for years. But Priestley hints that big upgrades are coming, both for the truck itself and the factory's production capabilities, to prove that electric trucking is ready for mainstream freight. And in classic Tesla fashion, the update also revealed a brand new Semi logo, a sleek, futuristic wordmark with a subtle nod to the Model 3's iconic triple line E. While not as bold as the Cybertruck's graffiti-style emblem, this design reinforces the Semi's place in Tesla's evolving lineup. With production now on the horizon, 
The real question is, will Tesla finally deliver the electric trucking revolution it promised, or will scaling challenges slow the semi's rollout? Either way, the freight industry is about to get a whole lot quieter and cleaner. Now this one. You need to see this to believe it. Researchers have created a robot that doesn't just ride a motorcycle. It performs jaw-dropping BMX-style bunny hops with the precision of a professional stunt rider. The video demonstration shows the ultra-mobile vehicle, UMV, approaching a ramp, then using its retractable arm to launch perfectly into the air, maintaining flawless balance mid-flight before landing smoothly on both wheels. What makes this so impressive is how the robot adapts in real time. Its AI brain uses reinforcement learning to adjust the force of each hop, the angle of takeoff, and the landing position, all while maintaining perfect balance. The UMV can even execute controlled wheelies and sudden stops, showing off its dynamic balancing capabilities. Built on a carbon fiber specialized hot walk frame, this two-wheeled marvel represents a major leap in robotic mobility. While practical applications are still emerging, the technology could revolutionize fields requiring precise, dynamic movement. Imagine search and rescue robots that can hop over rubble or industrial bots navigating complex factory environments. One thing's certain, the age of athletic and acrobatic robots has arrived officially. Let's switch to the next updates. Google is making a power play that could reshape energy infrastructure for the AI era. The tech giant just announced a partnership with nuclear developer Elemental Power to construct three advanced nuclear reactor sites, each capable of generating over 600 megawatts. This ambitious move directly addresses the insatiable power demands of Google's expanding AI operations and data centers. The collaboration focuses on small modular reactor, SMR technology, compact nuclear units that promise safer, more flexible power generation compared to traditional plants. While SMRs have become Silicon Valley's latest fascination due to their potential for mass production and deployment near energy-hungry facilities, significant hurdles remain. Notably, no commercial SMR projects currently operate outside of China, with previous attempts like NuScale's project facing major cost overruns before cancellation. Google's nuclear push comes as the company plans to spend $75 billion this year alone on data center expansion. The partnership keeps reactor technology options open, though Kairos Power, which already has a separate agreement with Google, appears to be a front-runner with its 150-megawatt commercial plant design. If successful, this could establish a blueprint for powering the AI revolution while reducing reliance on fossil fuels. Next, the ancient dream of alchemy has been achieved, briefly and spectacularly, at CERN's Large Hadron Collider. Physicists conducting experiments with the ALICE detector have successfully transmuted lead into gold by smashing lead nuclei together at 99.9999993% the speed of light. This modern alchemy works because gold sits just three protons away from lead on the periodic table. The ultra-high energy collisions strip away protons from lead atoms, creating about 89,000 gold nuclei every second. But there's a catch worthy of a fairy tale's warning. These precious atoms survive for mere fractions of a second before disintegrating against the accelerator's beam pipe. While the quantities produced, a few trillionths of a gram, won't upset gold markets, the research provides invaluable insights into quark-gluon plasma, the primordial state of matter that existed microseconds after the Big Bang. The ALICE team's ability to detect these ultra-rare transmutation events among thousands of particle collisions per second demonstrates remarkable detector sensitivity. It's a stunning demonstration that sometimes the real gold is the scientific knowledge we gain along the way. Finally, Amazon has unveiled its next-generation Vulcan robot, a major advancement in robotic manipulation that brings human-like tactile sensitivity to industrial automation. Unlike conventional warehouse robots that operate blindly, Vulcan features advanced force sensing technology that allows it to feel objects in real time through high precision pressure sensors embedded in its grippers. The system uses multi-axis force torque sensors 
capable of detecting minute variations in pressure down to fractions of a newton. This sensory feedback is processed by machine learning algorithms that enable the robot to adjust grip strength instantaneously, whether handling delicate electronics or heavy, irregularly shaped packages. The robot's adaptive grasping system represents a significant leap over previous models that relied on rigid, pre-programmed movements. Vulcan's 3D vision system combines with its haptic feedback to perform complex manipulation tasks like carefully rearranging items in storage bins or extracting single objects from tightly packed containers. While general-purpose robots like Tesla's Optimus focus on mobility, Vulcan specializes in dexterous material handling, using reinforcement learning to continuously improve its object interaction capabilities. Amazon emphasizes Vulcan is designed for collaborative operation with human workers, taking over repetitive, physically demanding tasks to reduce workplace injuries. However, with automation already handling 75% of Amazon's order fulfillment, Vulcan's sophisticated manipulation skills, particularly its ability to autonomously optimize storage layouts, suggest a future where robots may take on increasingly complex warehouse roles. The system currently operates in controlled environments, but its force-sensitive technology could eventually enable more widespread robotic applications requiring delicate human-like touch. As Amazon continues refining Vulcan's capabilities, it raises important questions about how far tactile robotics can advance before fundamentally transforming warehouse labor dynamics. So let's hear it. Are we looking at the dawn of brain-controlled computing with Neuralink? Can Tesla's refreshed Model Y outpace its rocky start? And when robots like Amazon's Vulcan start feeling their way through warehouses, game changer or job taker? Smash that comment section with your hottest takes. Want more mind-bending tech breakdowns? Hit subscribe and ring that bell. We're dropping fresh episodes constantly diving deep into the innovations reshaping our world. Catch you in the next one.